the next speaker is uh, Mr. Parvi Sogi Khazai. He is the former ambassador to Iran in Norway and um, a member of the Association of the International Lawyers, uh, the Norwegian branch. The floor is yours. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chairperson. And at the outset, I congratulate the formation of the, the committee today. The, it's a committee who has been born in this house today, Justice for Victims of 1988 Massacre in Iran. And you could see the news also in uh, Tribune de Genève aujourd'hui. Uh, uh, I don't have much to thank you. I don't have much to add to what the, uh, the distinguished uh, speaker said. I just wanted to emphasize once again, once for all, that when we say crime against humanity, does mean, that means the humanity as a whole, not one nation, not a bunch of nations, not a region, but these crimes are labeled as crimes against all of us. As it happened also, first time also, uh, in the history of modern history, uh, in the Second World War. Uh, the, the particularity of these two cases, the case of Germany and the case of Iran, is that in both cases, the top authorities of the country, that means the leadership, specifically, they brought fatwa. Well, Adel Hitler didn't call it fatwa, but he called it the end losung. That means the final solution. And the Khomeini call it immediately annihilate the enemies of Islam, that is PMI. So these two particular uh, crimes, they are very, very much uh, special because from the top of the country, they are bringing it with an official declaration and order in order to implement it. We have had Pol Pot, we have had uh, Rwanda, we had of Stalin with others, but it is the first time or second time that there is a decision coming from the top leadership, the Führer, which is Adolf Hitler, or Rahbar, which is Khomeini. So, Having said that, I just wanted also to uh, express my gratitude for this wonderful, uh, colorful uh, panel because they are really the, 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 the elites of, the, of Europe, I think, and they, are, they can do this job. And I promise you that I will do my best in order to also to help because we have, as you know, a different mechanism within the United Nations. The first thing is, of course, the ICC, International Court of Justice. This is quite a difficult case, but we are working on it. We have the special uh, courts, like courts for Rwanda, for other countries, and Sabinissa and all. And we have also the universal jurisdiction, which is also something that could be used at the national level. We remember all that a court in Spain ordered the arrest of Pinochet when he came to London for a visit. And that made a big impact internationally, although he used the diplomatic uh, immunity. And the last but the least, the least is, I think, uh, this uh, resolution of 13 October 2011. It is also a good window of opportunity for us, in which it is mentioning that they are establishing a special rapporteur on promotion of truth. Because first of all, we have to find the truth. South Africa did the same thing. We have to find what has happened. Who did it? How many people were victims? And also truth and justice and reparation and also guarantees of, of non-recurrence. That means it will, could never be repeated. So we have this this instrument or this opportunity windows in our hand, and I hope that this uh, wonderful uh, committee, which was born today, happy birthday to it, really, uh, will uh, bring insight. Many of your great people, you are here, lawyers, activists, in order to achieve this goal, because 72 years after the Second World War, still 
the great European people are hunting down the old Russian, 90 years old, the, the, the Nazis, and they uh, smoke them out from their holes and bring them to justice. Uh, why not Iranian people? Thank you.